Hi, I'm Manny Sid, Police Chief with the Culver City Police Department. I wanted to take a few moments to update our community on some of the work our police department has been doing over the last few months. During the second half of 2020, the police department put in place four initiatives to help improve our public safety services, our professionalism, and the department's overall effectiveness to the Culver City community. The first of these initiatives was reimagining our patrol deployment and policing approach. Over the last few months, this initiative has encompassed our Park Bike Walk Talk patrol deployment as well as our refocused policing directive, which has seen the police department refocus patrol efforts away from low-level traffic enforcement. The second initiative has been to improve our overall data collection, reporting, and transparency measures. This initiative has been highlighted by the early implementation of the Racial Identity Profiling Act, also known as RIPA, data collection, monitoring, and public reporting. The third initiative is to increase mental health resources and services to all community members. The police department continues to provide mental health services and outreach with our MET team, which pairs an LA County Department of Mental Health clinician with a specially trained police officer to respond to calls for service possibly involving mental health. In addition, the city of Culver City is currently working diligently in developing additional mobile crisis response, which will not involve an initial police response. The final of the four initiatives is our Partnership to Advance Youth Program also referred to as PAY. PAY is created in an effort to engage our community's youth, build relationships, foster trust and legitimacy, as well as to divert young people away from the criminal justice system. PAY focuses on partnership and engagement between youth ages 12 to 18 and the men and women of the police department in an informal, educational, fun and safe environment. In the coming months, PAY will host various and continuous organized activities such as team building exercises, discussion forums, exercise groups, mentorship activities, and volunteer work in the community. Pay will also encompass the department's current involvement with the Youth Diversion and Development Program with an emphasis on growing the number of juveniles diverted to social services and away from the criminal justice system. In the next few weeks, the department plans on kicking off the Pay Initiative with an initial Day of Dialogue event where the youth in our community will be able to engage in meaningful and honest dialogue with the women and men of our police department in an informal setting and in a COVID safe manner. Please stay tuned to the Culver City Police Department's social media platforms on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for details regarding this upcoming event, as well as for future events to come. Thanks for taking a few moments to check in with our police department and stay safe.